first? Think I got this job because I'm fat and jolly? I'll come while you sleep. The fat man's got his eye on you, kid. Mel, Mary, hey, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hey, Mel, it's been 17 years since I've spoken to you. It was for We Were Soldiers. I, you don't remember, but of course I do. I was the last interview of that day. Remember that long 10 hour day? Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, they used to be these uh, the uh, the junkets used to be killer. They're get, actually the good thing about Zoom is it makes them kind of easier in a weird way. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you all for talking to me today. I absolutely love the film. And you know, Mel, this is such a dark movie in nature, but it still delivers the message of Christmas. Believe it or not. Oh yeah, I think so. I think at the center of this film is a really warm, beating heart, and um, and that that's that's the lovely surprise. I think. Uh, of the whole film is that it's kind of like there's a lot of love in it but you've taken these iconic fantastical figures and and thrown them into a real world in a western almost and uh, uh, made people laugh and hopefully <laughs> moved people to a place where you know where they feel you know they get the warm fuzzy feelings you know of Christmas. Yeah and Marianne you know when he said it's like a western you guys are like living practically on a homestead to me you know it looks that rustic charm but the love between Chris and Ruth it's just undeniable in this movie it's unbreakable. Yeah I, I, and I'm so pleased I when, when I saw it I was just like yes it's there you know uh, we yeah we just worked really well together and just from the from the very first scene we just both sort of connected at the same place as to what this relationship was, this 300 and something old relationship, you know. Yeah, and then, you know, it, it, it's to do with the warmth of, of Marianne too. I think it's like, when I met her, I thought, well, she's lovable in many ways. So it was really, it was an easy thing to do. It was like, wow, okay, let's do it, you know? And, uh, and the character itself was so warm, you know, that, that, that I was pleased also, Marianne, that that worked so well. It seemed real. Yeah. <laughs> and Chance, you know, Billy forges grandma's checks, tortures his fellow students, hires a hitman to kill Santa, and he's surprised when he gets a lump of coal for Christmas? You know, I wasn't seeing it coming at all. I really thought he was, you know, going to get exactly what he wanted. He's been a decent child. Um, yeah, Billy's not the nicest kid, as you can probably tell. He's, he's despicable. He's mean. He... He decides to make other people's lives difficult because he's compensating for the fact that he doesn't have parents. You know, his grandmother is the only person he loves and his grandmother is the only person that loves him. So he's kind of alone in his perspective of life. So when he gets that lump of coal, that's when he goes from, okay, you know, I'm a pretty bad kid to the point where I get cold for Christmas. I like to make other people's lives difficult to, okay, let's play that game, Santa Claus. Let's give me a lump of coal and I'll send you a hitman as a, as a form of gratitude. So <laughs> you do not want to mess with Billy. No. And, and Mel, you know, Chris has a right, a, a mean right hook. You know, he does that pounding that bag for therapy. Yeah. Listen, pounding that bag had me in the chiropractor for like a week straight <laughs> with my shoulders. Oh my God. That's, you know, it's brutal, especially in the winter. It's actually known as a Johnny Carson. Oh, is it really? Okay. Yes. You, you throw an Alka-Seltzer in a shot of scotch. Johnny Carson used to do that the day after a hair of the dog that bit him. Cause I think he used to like a drink. So he'd do that to, just to kill the pain and wake up for the next day. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this was such a wonderful, dark experience. It was nothing unexpected, but you know, you came away with, with warm feelings and also uh, some good action. I mean, this is, this is a difficult movie to describe, but I think it's gonna become a cult classic. And thank you all for talking to me today and happy holidays. Cheers. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.